Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Chad. If you guys are new here, please smash the like button, subscribe, push that notification bell. And today, I mean like it's 2022, I think we should just start a YouTube channel. So if you guys are deciding whether or not to start a YouTube channel, I think now's your sign to just start it, just to get it out of the way. Um, because if you are wanting to start a YouTube channel, you should do it now. Like literally go check out a YouTube channel go sign up or whatever you got to do for that make an email do whatever you got to do after you're done watching this video um this video is going to be like a step-by-step -step guide on how to start a successful youtube channel um in 2022 so i'm going to go about my journey how to make thumbnails how to do all that stuff how to edit what to edit on if you need a camera what equipment you need all the stuff this is going to be everything that you guys need to start a successful youtube in 2022 so let's get into the video guys um, I have a lot written down to share with you guys today, which I'm super excited about. This is the most honest video I think I've ever filmed. You get everything. I'm not keeping anything back from you guys. You guys are literally getting all the tea. So let's get into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, push the notification bell. And if you're new here, please comment down below. Let me know and I'll do some post notification shout outs. Um, but yeah, let me know and let's get into the video. Okay guys, so if you're like, I don't know if I should start a YouTube channel, or if like, I don't know if people would like me, just start one guys. That's like the first thing I have to say, just start a YouTube channel. That's all you have to do, like I said, just start one. It's super easy, just sign up, and it's never too late to start one, never too, well I guess it, never too early, like it's, it's it can be a great time always. It's from home, it's online, like just start it whenever, cause you never know what could happen, you never know what views or subscribers that you could get. So basically, I'm gonna start with my journey on YouTube. I started in 2021 last year, about April, um, and I started putting out, putting out reaction videos. Those did good. Um, I started seeing a big growth in that, and I think I got like a thousand in like three months, a thousand subscribers in like three months, um, which I'm super thankful for. I hit a thousand in June of last year, and then I hit 3,000 this and then I just hit 4,000 subscribers this month. So I'm gonna be going about all the ways that you can have successful videos on your successful YouTube channel and all the factors that come in to make them successful and to make them like grow super big. Okay, so we're gonna start with what are the essentials? What do you need to start a YouTube channel? So basically I am using my phone. I use my phone for everything. So basically when I started my YouTube channel, I was using my phone to film, edit, make thumbnails and post the videos. So I film on the camera app, obviously, and then I would edit my videos on iMovie on my phone, which is free to all Apple users that have an iPhone. Um, also, if you don't have an iPhone, there's some Android apps that you can do, which are Vlogit, CapCut, um, and just other apps that are on there for free. I know there's a lot of free apps to edit YouTube videos on there, but basically that's all you need. You just need a good phone to record your stuff, edit, do thumbnails, post it, all of that stuff. The next question is, when is it a good time to get a camera? So basically, I don't even have a camera yet. I'm This is on my phone. Like, I'm using my iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'm using the cinematic mode. That's why it's, like, blurred in the background. But this is not, like, a like a super special camera that I've used. I have, I like, I just got monetized in November. And um, I haven't even, like, I don't have enough money to invest into a camera. So... I am not going to get a camera until I have the money made from YouTube to get a camera. That's, you guys don't need a camera until you actually really want one and can afford one and need one. Um, if there's like stuff wrong with your phone that can't record or something, storage issues, I would get a camera for that. Um, or just like, I don't know, delete stuff. <laughs> that, that sounds kind of dumb. Um, but if you're having issues with that, definitely, I would get a new one or try to find a good camera that's cheap and affordable, um, but I am waiting. My phone is perfect for recording videos and doing all that stuff. So I, be, I really don't need a camera right now. I am saving up for one at the moment, so I'll be getting a camera soon, but definitely like if you're good with what you have and you're waiting to get like a bigger subscriber count, if you're only at a thousand, I would not get a camera. If you already have like a good camera like your phone, don't, I would not. But if you're at like 5,000, 10,000, 15, whatever, if you're growing rapidly, I would get a camera for better quality. I mean, no one's gonna shun you if you don't have a camera. No one's gonna like be mad at you. Like, it's just, like if your camera's good, then that's all that really matters. Do you need a MacBook slash computer slash whatever? 
I have a MacBook. I did not at first. You don't need a computer because you edit on iMovie on your phone. You can do that or you can edit with other apps like CapCut. Um, but no, you do not need a computer. You can do all these things on your phone or your Android or anything like that. Um, I do have a MacBook. I got one last two Decembers ago or last December, I feel like. Yeah, I've had it almost a year, I think. And I have, I love it so much. It has been such a lifesaver to me. Um, but I don't edit with iMovie anymore. I'll get into what I edit with. Um, but the reason I got this computer was to edit with a different software. Um, so I'll be sharing what I edit with in a minute. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna share that now. So my editor that I use is Final Cut Pro. Um, it's very popular on MacBooks. It's only on MacBook or Apple devices or Apple like computers. Um, but I love it. It was actually very hard to figure out at first, um, but I will be like helping you guys out. Well, not with editing, but with thumbnails and all that stuff. Um, basically, if you guys are having trouble with that, that's another question, like how to edit on some crazy softwares. Um, iMovie is super simple. Just do your research on whatever you're using guys and YouTube has literally all the answers. There's many millions of different videos that cover how to edit on this software, how to do this, how to do each different step. Um, and those will really help you. And just remember practice does make perfect. So the more that you do it, the more that you will get better at it. Like I feel like I have gotten much better at editing. I figured out how to do it. Um, it has taken a lot of troubles and mistakes, but I have finally figured it out and I'm so thankful for that. But yeah, we're gonna get into the next question now, which is should you pay for an editor? Should you invest into another person to edit your videos or should you learn it yourself from the very beginning? So my take on this is that I've never paid for an editor. I've never like, I've always edited my own videos from the very beginning and I think that's the best way to do it because if there's nobody else in the world but you and you wanna make YouTube videos, like that doesn't make sense. No one's gonna watch your videos then. <laughs> but if you don't have anyone to edit your videos, what are you gonna do? Like you need to learn that stuff from the very beginning because you don't wanna have to rely on other people to do your stuff, you know? So I learned from the very beginning, like I just said, and I have gotten much better at it, I feel like. Um, but I would definitely start at the beginning. Practice does make perfect, like I said, and just the more that you do it, the better that you get at it. Um, so definitely start with iMovie. iMovie is super simple, guys. It is so simple, just put clips together. That's what I did at the very beginning. And then you wanna experiment and just put effects and all that stuff in it. Um, so yeah, you'll start getting better and you'll start realizing different things that you can do to make your videos more interesting and have more character. The next question is how long does editing take? Um, I'm gonna give you like two examples of videos. So I would say like a small video. So like I have a Joshua Bassett video that just I just did today. It's not gonna be out when you see this. Uh, but it was like a four to five minute video and it took me like 10 minutes to edit and upload or just to edit, just to edit, it took me 10 minutes. Um, uploading is a whole other thing, but editing took me 10 minutes to put like the music and all of that stuff in it um, because I was reacting to it. I'm a reactor, which is, it's a lot more difficult. I feel like for reactors because they have to like blur out some stuff. So I had to blur out stuff and it got blocked. So it's like a lose lose. But I, I it's a, it'll be up soon, hopefully. Um, but it took me probably like 10 minutes to edit it um, as opposed to Zombies 3 full movie reaction. That took me four hours to edit that video. That took forever, took me all day. Um, but I'm glad it's out. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. Zombies 3 full reaction. Um, but yeah, basically that took four hours of my day. Um, I filmed it and edited it in one day. So basically stay committed. Just if you're in the middle of editing and it's like you're getting bored, like I've been there, but definitely keep pushing on. And the more that you get into it, into the video that you're editing, the more it'll become interesting. And then you can just see what you can add there and there and there and what music do you want in the background and what special effects. So yeah. Okay, the next question is why do you need background music? So yeah, as you guys can hear, I have background music in the in this video. So if I stop talking, you are gonna hear background music. Even if I talk, just listen to it. Yeah, that's the background music. If you guys hear that small noise behind it, um, I put background music in a lot of my videos. Um, I need to put it in all of them um, starting now because it definitely makes it more interesting and adds more character. Don't like do a video without background music because if you do, then it's gonna sound like this. 
see there's no sound nothing like isn't it see it's i still don't have the music in but when i add it now then it's more interesting and it just sounds much better for the video you know it just adds character it makes you want to join and stay on the video and just and it's more interactive you know how important are thumbnails they are very important guys i'm going to be doing a step i'm literally going to show you how i edit my thumbnails in the next clip but yes i edit thumbnails for all of my videos some people just click like the automated ones but you need to edit them guys I use PixArt to edit my thumbnails. I use the premium version, but you don't have to use that. You can use Fonto. You can use many other things. You can use the PixArt, PixArt beginner stuff. There's also a seven day free trial, I think, that you can use. Um, but basically I use PixArt and I definitely make sure, it takes me probably 30 minutes to make a thumbnail because I'm always like going back and trying to figure out what best font and all that stuff. Um, hopefully you guys like the thumbnails, but you definitely need your thumbnails because if you're scrolling through YouTube and you see a thumbnail that's like terrible, you're not going to want to click on it. But if you see one that's like, if you see one that's like not even done, like nobody did work on a thumbnail and it's like all blurry and just an automated one, then you're not going to click on that. But if you click like one that's like all edits everywhere and just looks so professional and just like they took time on it, then you're going to want to click that guys because... I would, I would definitely click that video. I wouldn't click the blurry one that looks bad. I would click the one that looks more interesting and the one that I feel like would really help me or is more entertaining to me. Okay guys, so the first thing that you're gonna do when you get into the Pix Art app or whatever, this is what I use. You don't have to use this exact thing, but this is how I'm gonna show you how to edit your thumbnails today. You click the plus button in the middle and then you can create anything with the photos that you take. So as you can see, I've made my thumbnail here. I'm gonna recreate that for you guys now. Um, so basically I take a video of different poses that I'm going to use um, and I just do random poses that look cool or whatever that go with the video. So this was the one that I chose, this one right here. <laughs> and then I take it, so I take, I like clip a background or whatever. So I just save a photo from the back, from the video and use it as a background. So I use this one and then I go to tools and crop and you need to have it as 16.9 for your videos so that it's the thumbnail uh measurements and then you go to fx and i blur it i do g blur and go all the way and then apply it and then i go to add photos and i add what i need so the picture of him and then the picture of me oh i added an extra one on on accident and then i remove the background that is a premium feature there is cutout over here i'll show you how to do cutout with the other one so this cutout feature right here, and I just click person. That's free, you can use that. It doesn't look as good as the remove background premium feature, but you can still do that. And then I go to shadow and I do all the way at opacity and then I just go zero, zero. Some people just do borders and then I do white, but it just depends on what you guys wanna do. Um, you can do your overlays right here so you can move it under him or over him. I always have myself over the other people in the video. I'm going to do border for this one. Oh, I can't. You can't do border. Oh, yeah, you can. No, you can't. You can't do border for the ones that are removed background, which is why I use shadows. Um, because the, I feel like they look better than borders. Um, but you do what you feel like is best. Um, and then I go to stickers. And for this one, I needed a high school musical one for the because that's what it is, that's the theme of it. And I do like one border around it, but then I also do a shadow um, and I do like zero. It's always zero, zero for me so that it looks better. And then there's the highlight. And then I just put the title of the song so you can go to the text box. It was called Finally Free. And then I just make it like whatever it needs to be. Ooh. And then I make it whatever it needs to be. If it needs to be taller or shorter. Um, and then I just, put it over him I would make this shorter and then I move it up a little bit and then I put a shadow on that one too so I put full opacity and then they're both at zero and then I I can use any color um, but I prefer white because it just looks cleaner and then I just save it up here um, you can't go back to drafts you can't like edit it later um, if you get out or applied, like now you can't go back at all. Or if you try to go back, it'll delete everything. Um, so yeah, that's basically how I make my thumbnails. But yeah, let's get on to the rest of the video. Okay, the next question is with all new YouTubers, how consistent should you be? 
even when you're just not a, not a new YouTuber and you're still like, it's been like a few months since you started or a few years, you need to be consistent, guys. You need to have at least two to three videos a week. As you guys know, I do not do two to three videos. I do more than that. I do like four to five maybe or like every day of the week and I take like one day break. Like it just depends. Sometimes I've done three videos a day, which is kind of crazy for me, um, but that really grows your channel. Um, just think of it as like, entries to win a prize like all of your videos are different entries and if you put a ton of videos out then you have more of a chance to get found or a viral video you know like it's crazy how that works but definitely post a lot consistency is key i know you hear that in all of these youtube videos and all of the how to grow a successful youtube channel how to like gain subscribers quick it's consistency is key guys it really is i've learned that over the past year it is so, such a key factor, like, definitely. The next question is, how do you promote your channels anywhere? Like, where do you promote your channels? How do you do it? I promote my channel on Instagram, and my Instagram is connected to my Facebook. So whenever I post something on my story of Instagram, it goes to my Facebook. So it's like double the viewers. Um, so yes, I love that I can post and then people go click that link. Like in my Instagram stories, I like put a link to my channel and they click it, then they go straight there. And that's definitely a good way for you to get new viewers, new subscribers. And yeah, basically that's pretty much how I do it. I do it Instagram, YouTube, and I do Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. I don't, well, I don't, I only do Instagram and Facebook, but you can do all of the different platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, another one. I don't know guys, but you know what I mean. Okay, now I'm gonna give you some video ideas that you can use for when you're starting, like what good videos to start off your YouTube channel and to get you on the right foot to being a successful YouTube channel. Um, so I would start with back to school videos. If it's that time of the year, which I'm about to do a back to school like shopping thing um, video because it's the start of school soon. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that. So hopefully that'll go well. Um, but other video ideas are unboxings, reactions is what I would mainly do last year. And that did really good. You guys can go look at my like views and stuff like that. I would get like a thousand in the first day. That's it's, it's insane. It's literally insane. Um, another one is just morning routines, night routines, any type of routine, like waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning, 7 a.m. for a week. Those videos are like the trend. Those do really well. Um, I know they still do well, but they were more of a popular trend back a few years, back like a year ago or a few months ago. Um, another one is just like a day in life. That, that's a really trendy video too. I've done that before. Uh, but yeah, those are like some main video ideas. Um, if you guys want more, I can make another video of that. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys want more video ideas and I'll make a separate video. Um, but yeah, the next thing is coming up with video ideas. So how I come up with video ideas is I look to see what other creators are doing. I don't copy and paste like their full idea in the same title, same thumbnail, same everything. I twist it, take their content and make it my own. I don't use everything that they use. I come up with new stuff while getting inspiration from their videos. So change the titles, change the different stuff in the video to make it for you. Don't copy and paste their informations and all that. Don't take their title, don't take their thumbnails, don't take their whole idea, um, give credit where credit is due. So if you do use a lot of their stuff, definitely give credit for that. Don't use all of their stuff, guys, but you know what I mean. Okay, the main thing is how to get more watch hours, guys. This is like a key thing to get monetized. Now this isn't a monetization video, but something that you need to get monetized is a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours watch time. This took me a few months to accomplish. I have three things that you can do to get more watch hours and they're very simple and easy tips to do that and you'll be getting a lot of watch hours if you do this stuff. Um, but upload a lot, guys. Consistency is key, like I said. If you guys want those watch hours, you need to post a lot. And also, tip number two, you need to have them be interactive videos. So like add background music, keep them in for the first 20 seconds so that they wanna keep going with you the whole video. Definitely be, have a lot of personality make sure you're fun and you're like having a blast on the video so that they keep and they're staying tuned so that they want to be entertained by you um and the last tip is that you want to have longer videos so i know that 10 minutes or like 8 to 10 minutes are like more recommended on youtube um so they're more likely to get you watch hours just longer videos in general if people watch longer in that video than in a shorter video they, they can only go to 
whatever the shorter videos but if they want to go longer they can watch as long as they want until the end and that can be like an hour video that they just boosted your watch hours time which is crazy to me how that works which i have seen a lot of improvement like from the zombies video that was 36 minutes that got me like a lot of watch hours which is insane next is your business email you definitely need to have a business email on your channel you guys know how to make your emails you just go to google you click sign up and you put in your name and stuff and you can just like make a random email um mine is chadbwilly at gmail.com mine's similar to my channel name you guys want it to be similar so that they know that it's your business information then you put that into your youtube customization you can go to like your youtube studio monetization and it'll show you where to put your business email also always put it in your description down below for every video as you guys will see business inquiries will be down below so you guys can go check out my business email you'll get sponsorships maybe from that and you'll get other people um wanting some questions answered just anything like that that you need um is answered i'll answer anything okay last but not least this is super important guys i really want you to take this away because i made this mistake when i first started the youtube channel and i regret everything I regret doing this so much, but what not to do when starting your YouTube channel is sub for sub, guys. Oh my gosh. I know you're like, but I want to gain subscribers fast. That's not how you gain subscribers that are going to be real and grow with you. Those are fake subscribers, guys. I know. Okay. When I mean fake, I don't mean like those are real people subscribing to you, but they're fake subscribers because they're not going to watch your videos when you're not doing sub for sub. They don't care about your videos. They only care about their videos being sub for. And you know you're not going to watch the other people's videos. You know that for a fact, but you still want the subscribers. So don't do sub for sub, guys. It's tedious. It's very sketchy. I did it. I got 100 subscribers from it. And then the next day I lost like 86 of them because they don't do what they're supposed to do and people like i don't don't do it on youtube don't do it on youtube guys if you're doing sub for sub at all don't do it on youtube because you'll get banned the way i did it was instagram um but i don't recommend you doing that i regret doing that don't do it guys don't do it don't do sub for sub repeat after me don't do sub for sub your turn don't do sub for sub okay and then the next thing is if you post once a month or if you barely post at all, that's not what you're supposed to do. Then YouTube's not gonna see you. You need to post a lot. Like I said, consistency is key. So that's the last thing that I had to tell you guys for today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, I have a lot more coming. So comment down below what you guys wanna see from me next. Um, I'll have my first YouTube paycheck and how to get monetized in a future video. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, subscribe, smash like button, push the notification bell if you're new here, and uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. Love you guys, and go start a successful YouTube channel.